Hey there everybody, and welcome to a brand new LP. If you couldn't already tell, this is going to be for Singularity, and I'm still nigger off. Singularity was released back in June of 2010 to relatively good reviews, but kind of poor sales. It was commonly mistaken for just another very uh, story-driven FPS, much akin to Bioshock, but it holds its own, and I feel that it's uh, it's quite a beautiful game. It's got a good story, and I just want to show it off. So why don't we go ahead and get started on a new game, and enjoy the opening cinematic. Soviet Union continues to expand in both military might and political influence. Soviet Russia holds a commanding position in the future destiny of the world. But it was the United States that held the secret to atomic power. The flags of freedom fly all over the world. This superiority would be short-lived, however, as Stalin was already at work on a plan of his own. While searching for uranium on a tiny island off the southeast coast of the Soviet Union, Russian engineers discovered E-99, a powerful and unprecedented source of energy. Seeing an opportunity for further world domination, Stalin authorizes unlimited development funds to explore the capacities of the substance. Project Director Viktor Barasov establishes an island research station, Katorga 12. For his groundbreaking research, he receives the Order of Lenin. When Nikita Khrushchev succeeds Stalin, he accelerates the program, pressuring Barasov to begin field experiments. However, not only is E-99 capable of delivering unimagined power, it is also incredibly volatile. Yet Barasov is pressured to begin tests. Disaster has no known survivors. Moscow buries the installation effectively wiping it from the map. 2010, a U.S. spy satellite flying over the area is blinded by a radiation surge. Fearing another Chernobyl, and suspicious of Moscow's secrecy, a reconnaissance mission over Katorga 12 is ordered by the Pentagon. that rocky start welcome to the first part of singularity that was well we're not actually sure what that is at this particular point there was a lot of information in that opening sequence about katorga 12 e99 and the experiments going on on this island but as to what's actually going on we are pretty much in the dark about needless to say I really think that was an EMP. So we've pretty much been split up from the rest of our forces. I'm not sure if that Devlin fellow made it out okay, but uh, for right now we just need to get our bearings and figure out what's actually going on here. Ah, 
Obviously this place is in a bit of disrepair. And lots of bodies just kinda sitting around. Pretty bad shape. Welcome to Katorka 12. All first time arrivals must report to registration. All those who have previously registered are free to enter through the north gate. So yeah, this was the receiving docks for any new people coming to the island. This note, uh, if you want to pause the video at your own leisure, please feel free to do so. I'll be putting it in a thread as well. The note was basically describing um, that the island had to be evacuated, to say the least. But this is our first healing item of the game, a stim pack. Uh, we kind of took some injuries, if you notice in the upper left hand corner is our life bar. By using a, or when we pick up a stem pack, it uh, gets automatically used, and we receive some health back. <coughs> this is Devlin 4 1! We were hit, goddammit, I repeat! We were hit! <coughs> Titan 1 Actual here, what's your status, Captain? It got punched out! Copters down and we're scattered! Don't know how many KIAs yet, over! Satellite's got you about 30 clicks south of a radio tower. Get your team there, Captain. We're pulling you out. Understood, sir. Spartan team, if you copy, switch your comm gear to TAC-3. Meet up at the rally point. So, thankfully, Devlin is still alive. We're going to go regroup with him at some point. But this is another healing item. The health pack is actually going to be very useful in that we can actually store these for later use. If you look back up at your at the health bar, you'll see that there was a one next to it. That one is indicating how many health packs we actually have. Hmm. Development community of science, industry, and technological studies. Sounds pretty interesting. It's actually a bit weird that their signs are in English and in Russian. I'm not sure why that might be since this really wasn't supposed to be open to any uh, non-Russian people, I suppose. Their health pack, I don't think that guy's going to be using it. Uh, though we do have to wonder. I mean, obviously this place has probably not been used in 50 years, but those bodies don't look, you know, like they've... They should be skeletons, I would assume, after all this time. But you can kind of consider this the main visitor center, if you will, for new people coming to the island. Lots of propaganda on the walls. E-99 is a valuable element that can only be found on Katorga 12. Here it is mined at a depth of over one kilometer underground. We're going to be hearing a lot more about E-99 in this particular area. Lots of new scientists and technicians to Katorga 12 has dwindled to nothing. Rumor has it that Dr. Borisov might become the new head of Katorga 12, but I doubt Moscow has much confidence in him. If only Dr. Demichev had died in the fire. Hmm. We're going to be hearing more about Demichev and uh, Barchov, Barchov later on. Obviously, for those of you who don't know, Stalin was one of the leaders of the USSR. Very powerful man. Another note over here, just kind of outlining. They really want to streamline and push people through as quickly as possible. Really get them getting to their jobs on the island. Speaking of the island, got a map here. are here. The village area contains the civilian docks, where new personnel first arrive on Katorga 12. It is home to many of the inhabitants of the island, and features a school that offers the best in Russian education. Yeah, each one of these dots is going to be an area that we're going to be visiting. The where scientific investigation is done into the potential uses of E-99. Some of the areas of experimentation include weapons development, crop regeneration, and medical research, as well as chronology investigation. Chronology investigation. Hmm. The industrial docks are where... 
supplies are brought in from the mainland. Hundreds of tons of equipment and material are offloaded here every day. The rail line is where vast amounts of supplies and research materials are moved across the island. It also serves as the main transportation of raw E-99 ore. The processing facilities are where E-99 ore is purified and enriched. In order to protect the civilian population from any potential radioactivity, security is very high. Once construction is completed, 